<laughs> Mailbag, who's up? Kevin Rockhead writes, longtime watcher from London in the UK. I love all the shows you do and look forward to the Schmoes being officially part of the family. Well, thank you. My question is regarding movies aging. I was following the Oscar ceremony on the Guardian newspaper website as they were tweeting regular updates as to what was happening. When in your redo one, one of the journalists commented that Birdman has aged badly in the past year, an opinion I totally disagree with. In your opinion, which movies have aged badly or not at all? And what is it that makes some movies age badly while others are almost timeless the ones for me that age badly are the ones that tried to do too much with the effects that they had at the time and while and now as a more mature adult i can watch the movie and appreciate it in its own time but i still see effects like even when i watch those Raimi spider-man movies it's like the effects are fine for the time but i don't think that they hold up as well as the effects that you get today for obvious reasons i'm gonna go back to a movie that i thought was so hysterical and fun to watch as a kid and i saw it recently as an adult and it's a film that we actually talked about already on the show today and that'd be monster squad like man i have fond memories of that movie and seeing all these monsters team up in this group of kids and they're on this scary horror mission and it's a fun time right go back and watch the movie there's a lot of language in there that i cannot believe that i can't believe was in the script then or now i guess maybe it's a sign of the times in the 80s but there's a lot of stuff that should not be coming out of anybody's mouth at the very outset of monster squad so if you go watch it again just make sure your parents aren't in the room dennis what's a movie that is aged horrifically in your opinion well in terms of birdman yeah i agree with with him where i don't think birdman's aged uh badly at all it's been a yeah. year and i, I yeah. think the theme are bigger I think a lot of people misinterpret that movie as like some sort of slam against superhero movies and I don't think that's it I think it's about uh, a person's ego and their validation validation of their existence and and just what he was doing Michael Keaton's character in that what he was trying to do in that was trying to you know uh, go with that theme uh, in terms of movies that haven't aged well I, I don't really think a lot like visual effects stuff, but I think about movies that at the time were, were really big, but they kind of have been not forgotten, but people don't bring them up as much anymore. And you, you're talking about something like a Shakespeare in Love, The Artist, Crash, Million Dollar Baby. I just feel like those movies, those, those all won uh, Best Picture Oscars, but I don't know how, how much people would be talking about if they hadn't won because other movies that have come either during that time or afterward are a lot more influential. Schnapp, what flicks in your library are showing their age? Hardly any. Uh, I've got an amazing library of films. <laughs> um, no, you know what? I have a, I have like a, like, you know, not films that I'm like, oh, it's just, you know, I'm embarrassed to watch it. But, the, you know, they're like, you know, they're okay films when they came out. But the, being a science fiction nerd or a horror nerd, I have them and I love them for specific reasons. Like Saturn 3 is not the greatest film in the world. It's not even technically a good film, but it's, there's certain scenes in it that I love. But if you're going to talk about a film that like when I saw it, I loved it. And then maybe 15 years later, I saw it again. I was like, it's not as good. I hate to say it. Caddyshack. For me, <gasps> what? Turn his just, mic off. It does not age well. The humor falls flat, and a lot of it just doesn't work anymore. I mean, you'll always have Bill Murray as one of the funniest moments of that, you know, characters in that film. But the rest of it, I dare you to like laugh like you did when you first saw it. You, you take drugs, John? Yeah. I do. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You're dead to me. <laughs> you are dead to me, sir. Um, there's a couple, too. I, I see the thing, though, Dennis, the, the ones that you gave examples for, too, I think that even though they're not talked about as much, too, like I think if you went back and watched Million Dollar Baby, that's still a great movie. No, I think it still, still holds good. up. Those are all still good movies. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, they won best Hype-wise, picture. Hype-wise, yeah, I don't know if they still get the same hype, but yeah. as far as, like, being, like, that they don't hold up, like, if you watch them again, um, Cash Act definitely holds up. As far as uh, I, I would say, um, Tron was one for me. I loved Tron when I was a kid. Like the effects are so bad, and the movie's not not the best. Look, I went back after Mova was busting my chops for a long time for Zoolander, and I said I'm going to try to watch Zoolander. And I, I was even watching it with my wife, who liked the first one, and she watched it. Again, I hadn't seen it so long. It does not hold up at all. The humor doesn't work the way Whatever. it does. Well, it you does. hated that movie fine. anyway, though. So, I did, but I was still you know. watching like because of the way the, for the jokes that were made at the time. It, it's a dated movie. It doesn't work yeah. the same way, and plus, it's terrible. Um, and then you also have <laughs> Jumanji. Um, if you Jumanji, I love Jumanji, but if you watch that now, you try to watch make a kid watch that movie. This the special effects just 
for 95 or whatever it is too we've evolved so much it just it doesn't work yeah it's funny because you, you look at movies that are supposedly all-time classics and you go back and watch them and even if they're just merely good then we're a little disappointed i had that feeling i love sports movies to death the natural is just a movie i put on and i want to just get inspired the entire movie i like seeing robert redford i like him and wilford brimley's relationship i love the end scene i won't ruin it for you it's heroic but him and glenn close in that movie that is just like the most dead relationship they're just it's like two pieces of wood trying to make out i can't stand watching them in that movie i just want to get to the next baseball scene and now i'm just really upset about the caddyshack comment. Hey, let me flip it and just say what's a movie that has aged better like i when you mentioned uh, rob williams i thought of death to smoochie and and when it first came out oh, i didn't absolutely. like it yeah. and then i saw it like 10 years later i was like this is a a, a classic. It's yeah. an incredible It's, it's film. really funny. I yeah. love that movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would throw a Dazed and Confused in there, too, because when it definitely. came out, I, I think it critically was received well, but it's just one of those movies that caught fire with audiences afterwards. And I saw it a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It just gets better and better every time you watch it. It's funny. I just watched it again like it's three so days good. ago. It's an amazing. Yeah. I know two movies, not that it got better, but just uh, Lawrence of Arabia and Godfather 2 that just don't age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can you <laughs> totally. watch those all the time. Rocky. Yeah. It doesn't age. Yeah. I was in Philly this weekend and. Yeah. Had a lot of fun with Instagram. <laughs> Ashley, what's our next question? Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.